and I can easily go in for a mortar just to go and pull that thing back, make sure that it doesn't get any hits, and force out more elixir. I love this. It's Call gonna me. get two hits on the tower, and it hits the ice wizard too. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKKA Tagatera back again playing the number three deck in Clash Royale. This guy is dominating people at the top of the world with this Mortar Graveyard deck. So let's go jump straight to some games, show you why it's so strong, and assert some dominance. And a huge shout out to all of you beautiful people using credit code SIRTAG. I upload daily videos on the channel, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. All right, guys, we got a game against winner. We got to change his name real quick to loser. We got to assert dominance on him. There is no other thing that is just challenging me more than the name called winner when i see that thing i gotta prove him wrong so i'm gonna go and hit him up with the cannon card here definitely want to go in for a mortar make sure that that goblin giant does not get anywhere near my tower and i think we're gonna be able to defend this adequately with our mortar pulling off that goblin giant all the way off to the side of the world making sure that he has to take a journey further than christopher columbus and that cannon card's gonna give us a lot of value on the sparky too kobe shots for days do I snowball that and shut it down with a mortar? I don't think I have to do anything besides a snowball. With a tower and the snowball, we have all the power in the world. You have to sail the seven seas to seize my tower and assert dominance on that, baby. All right, maybe we can go in for a night here. I can see everything ahead of us right now. I can see the future with my crystal ball, and I feel like he's going to start a sparky, follow up with a goblin giant, and then rage it all up, because that's what everyone does. Oh, wow. Guess I was wrong. He <laughs> went for the mini P.E.K.K.A. play. I haven't seen that one in a fat minute, guys. Mini P.E.K.K.A. plus Rage at the River. Who's crazy enough for that type of tactic? So I'm going to go for a Hunter here. That was a really, really good Mega Minion. He realized that I was going to go for a Graveyard. He knew what my deck was, and he took that fully-fledged defense to the next level. But, you know, the Hunter has got a wanted poster on that tower, and he's collecting that damage. So we'll take that. Wow, that Dark Prince. I didn't even see the Dark Prince, guys. It went kaboom in seconds. Wow, that was a miserable existence. His existence was just to suffer. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for more Spirit Goblins here. He's going to get a Snowball uh, on that tower real quick, too. And whenever we see Sparky, it's generally better for me to go in for Catacarts afterward. I don't want to sacrifice it right into the Sparky. So first things first, let's go for our Mortar. Make sure that we're able to mesmerize him with the Mortar. Potentially Fireball here or go in for a Graveyard. We'll see what he does. Yeah, I might have to Graveyard on defense here. That might be the, the play. I can go for a graveyard and just, uh, you know, make sure that he doesn't break through. That's a good play. That's a wave. as the wave of the future. We can make sure that the Sparky hits onto things that don't matter. Hit him up with the cannon card afterward. Skeletons are going to get obliterated, but the mini pack gives him hits. Oh, mini pack, get off my lawn. Get off my lawn, sir. Get off my lawn, sir. All right, we need a knight here real quick. If the knight doesn't destroy the Sparky, we are dead. We are gonzo. But we can go and pull the uh, goblin giant right into the, the mortar. We can hit him up with the spear goblins. Definitely need to go in for a cannon card because he's going to zap. So if that locked onto my tower, we were toast. I'm going to snowball here. We can shut that down before it gets another hit on my tower. And we are back in business. I'm loving this right now. It's looking good, guys. So do we go for a knight and do we go for a graveyard? Or do we knight graveyard on the right-hand side? I think we knight graveyard the opposite lane. Because he just dropped his mini pekka so he can't stop this from crossing the river very easily. We can fireball here. We can spear goblin so we can guarantee that the mini pekka does not break through. If you zap, you still die to the cannon cart, so you're not going to do it. You're not that aggressive, bro. I know you. I know you like the back of my hand. So if you're going to go for another spam, we can mortar here. I can follow up with a knight and a cannon cart, or I can go for a knight and a hunter too. I think that is slightly better to go in for the knight and the hunter, just to make sure that we are able to get enough damage. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I said I knew you liked the back of my hand, but look at that, guys. We are, we are getting slapped silly right now. So if I go for a cannon cart in a graveyard... That might be enough. I don't know if he's back to mini packer, so let's do it. Let's do it up, boys. If you go in for a... Oh, wow. You're doing everything. You're dropping all you have here. All you ate can eat buffet. So if I knight... I need to go in for a hunter as well. Oh, this is tragic. This is going to be so much damage if he gets anything from this. I have to snowball, and then I can spear goblins afterward, but that mini pack is going to be an issue. That mini pack is going to be a massive issue, guys. Look at the mini pack meandering towards my tower. He is not going away. If I need to knight... Oh, my goodness. How are we still in this game? I do not understand what is going on in this. If we cannon card here and have the Sparky hit that, I'm okay with it. I just need to be able to kill the Sparky. I need to go in for a graveyard as well. Maybe just with the Knight tanking, we can win the game. I need to hit him up with the Mortar as well. We need to drop everything that we have at the river. We need to win the game. Full send, baby. Full send. Let's go. We went through absolute 
everything and somehow came out on top. That was a journey for the century. We got a game here, and I really want to see this guy mirror my play. Please drop a knight in the back so I can cannon cart you and slap your tower silly. Unfortunately, that's not something that we're allowed to do right now because he goes in for a giant. But I'm still liking how this is looking. If you want to go for a Santa Claus like that, your minions are going to be worthless with, uh, without the Santa Claus. They'll just die. We can go in for a cannon cart here. And I can also maybe even go for a graveyard counter push. Oh my goodness, this guy is wild. I thought I was crazy. I thought I was running an awesome deck. But little did I know that this man was running the extravagant sauce of giant plus minor minion horde dropping it all at the river too. Cannon cart locks onto the tower. And as you guys already know, this is how the deck is meant to be played. Even at like nine wins in a grand challenge, as you guys are seeing right now, if they make a slight slip up like that and they overcommit once, you can a cart, you graveyard, you take a tower and you just walk away with a win. This easy as snapping your fingers. Snap the tower too, right in two right there. Few inches later. As you guys can see, it was a really easy matchup for us. As soon as our opponent overcommitted with that giant minion horde at the river, we fireballed him and we extinguished any chance of this man winning. GG and well played, even later into grand challenges like this one. There's nothing but wins. All right, guys, we got a game here against Cole. Cole, we're going to give you Cole for Christmas right now. How about them apples? If I go for the Spear Goblins and poke and protrude and get that early chip damage, there's nothing more satisfying than being out Elixir and still finding, like, two Spear Goblin hits on the tower. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. He did not just do that. You went in for a Tesla in the middle of the cycle. Now you have to defend against the Mortar, and you are not going to be happy about that. There's no universe that you're ever happy about a Mortar going right into you after you drop your defensive structure that usually is meant to pulverize it. So, you are out of cycle. You, you drop your Balloon into the Mortar, and now we can go in for a Cannon Cart with a Hunter. So the Hunter is going to destroy whatever you drop on nope. top of the Cannon Cart. Oh, if only it hit the Cannon Cart first instead of the Hunter. Anyway, we're going to go pull the pack to the opposite side with the Spear Goblins. And maybe just maybe we can make this work. So Spear Goblins are going to shut down the pack. I'm not going to have to worry about too much here because, well, that's a 7 for 2 trade. So we take those. And then I can go for a Knight in the Graveyard because you've got P.E.K.K.A. with a really rambunctious deck. You're going to have P.E.K.K.A. and Tesla. So you have so many defensive structures and so many ways of defending, but you can't defend the direct damage. We've got the better variation of spell cycle. Guys, sometimes people do like Earthquake or Rocket Cycle. But if you can just go for skeletons on top of the tower, who needs spell cycle? So I'm going to go in for a Mortar and expect him to go in for a Tesla. So let's go for a Preemptive Cannon Cart on the Tesla that he'll drop. Oh, if you P.E.K.K.A. <sighs> Can we just say that that was completely calculated, guys? I was expecting a Tesla, and he peckered in the opposite lane. So that was even better than I anticipated. We made a play predicting the Tesla, and we would have shredded the Tesla real quick, and the Mortar would have given us like 500 damage. Little did I know we were going to get the whole nine yards of value, guys. We went to Costco, and we picked up every single bundle deal there. So I'm going to hit you up with the Knight, maybe even follow up with the Hunter as well. Oh, this could have been bad. This, this could have actually been pretty unfortunate. We're going to go in for the Mortar to pull that to the opposite side, and then I can Snowball if I want to. I don't even need to, though. That's gone. Hunter's going to get a hit here, too, and I can clean up with the Cannon Card on the left-hand side. You probably don't have Elixir to defend both things, man. So you're going to go for Skeletons, and you went for the P.E.K.K.A., but you also need to Log, and now we can keep going for Spear Goblins. <laughs> Guys, for Halloween, I just need to dress up with a Spear Goblin. It scares everyone. Even if you play Clash Royale, you're like, you'd be scared because you're like, I'm tired of that thing getting damage on my tower. This thing needs a fat nerf. All right, so we can go for a Cannon Cart here. I can go for a Snowball afterward. Oh, wait, that would have been better. I was expecting us to get value, and it did not give us the value that we need. I was like, Pekka, destroy my Cannon Cart. Make sure that the balloon goes backward. I choose you. And unfortunately, we did not choose the right Pokemon, but today... We graveyard, we assert the dominance, and we walk away with a win. GG, well played, and pleasure playing against you, sir. And he raves the white flag of surrender because he just knows that it's over. The skeletons are cascading upon your tower, and there's no way you can stop them. GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. All right, guys, we got a game against Kenneth. What is happening here, sir? We're going to sauce out of good luck and immediately hit you up with the spear goblins. What are you going to have in store for me, sir? Dark Prince right out of the gate. Okay, so 
if we see double prince action, he will not have an answer to the cannon card if he drops another one. So I really, really, really want to see a prince in the back right now. I will cannon card graveyard you, and you will have your entire life obliterated. We will send you to the Shadow Realm immediately. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. He will probably end up having an Electro Giant deck. So I want a cannon card in the right, and I want to go for a graveyard still, but... It's a bit more risky, guys. He's going to bar barrel. The cannon cart locks onto the tower, and that's what we love about this thing. It is the most obnoxious card in Clash Royale. If you think that there's something more annoying than a cannon cart graveyard push, let me know. Because I look at this thing, and I'm like, I am afraid of it even when I'm using it, guys. So I'm going to go in for a knight here. And he's going to lose his baby dragons just because it's going to lock onto it. The knight doesn't need to shoot up. He is a strong, independent sir that knows that his tower will just destroy everything that he can't. He is going to go valiantly walk towards the opponent's tower and not have a single worry in the world. So I can easily follow up with another hunter here. The Dark Prince is going to get shredded. And I can keep going in for cannon cards if I want to. If the hunter survives, that is. Yeah, so the hunter survives. So I think it's worthwhile going in for a cannon card here. Because if he drops something on top of the cannon card, then it's going to die to the hunter. So he needs the bar barrel as well. And that's more elixir than he wants to spend. Because he's going to lose the goblin cage. He's going to lose the goblin brawler. And I can easily go in for a mortar just to go and pull that thing back. Make sure that it doesn't get any hits. And force out more elixir. I love this. It's going to get two hits on the tower. And it hits the ice wizard too. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So the spear goblins are going to destroy the big green Shrek. Green on green action, guys. We're all about recycling out here. You give me the elixir. I take everything from you. And we bounce it back with the graveyard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, well, we're actually recycling skeletons. We're putting them to a good purpose. Guys, this deck is green. It is amazing. <laughs> I can go for a cannon card here and, oh, never mind. Okay, we need to go for a mortar go and pull that as far as possible. Follow up with the cannon card so we can't lightning everything as well. Going for a knight up top. Maybe, just maybe, shut this down. Okay, so he lightning precariously. And our hunter plus knight, and I don't even think that they got a single hit on our tower. Wait, what? He's so upset right now. So if you guys are sick and tired of playing against this Electro Giant deck that is pretty much everywhere in the meta right now, look no further. This is the deck for you. The Cannon Cart plus Graveyard, Hunter, and Great. It's just, just broken. Honestly, we take all the strongest cards in Clash Royale with Cannon Cart, Graveyard, and Hunter. You throw them into a deck, and it's a recipe for success. What do you guys expect? When you play the best cards in Clash Royale, nothing but net, only victories here. And wow, I think we're like seven wins in a GC, and that game was still super, super easy. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we're going to see what's happening. If I just hit him up with the snowball, well, we're going to get that casual chip damage right out of the gate. The French touches his clan, so sir, I hope you don't mind, but those spear goblins, they're protruding through and poking your tower in all sorts of ways. So if you're going to go in for a hog rider, it would be awesome for me to go in for a cannon cart here because I think that you're probably going to go for a knight and it gets demolished by our hunter here. So yeah, this is really good stuff. <laughs> He's like, I can't drop stuff on top of the cannon cart because it gets incinerated by the hunter. But if I don't, then the cannon cart locks onto my tower. So it's a lose-lose for me. And to be honest, that's why this deck functions at such high capacity. It pulverizes opponents that think that they can defend against the cannon cart. Because then also they have to defend against the mortar and the graveyard and just so many things. It's so difficult for this man. He's like, wait, I just defended a cannon cart. Why is there a mortar impeding on top of my tower at the exact same time? Then he goes in for a defensive structure like a bomb tower there. And he's still going to take damage, guys. That mortar locks and loads every single time whenever we get any type of connection. So I'm going to go in for that hunter again in the back. Maybe just maybe we can meander our way through with the second cannon cart. The second coming of the cannon cart cannonballing off into the tower and forcing him to just shudder and fear him. All right, what are you going to do? You're going to go in for a musketeer and a cannon cart counter with a knight. Well, you know, the knight is going to take some damage. We can definitely hit you up with the skeletons of the graveyard on top of the musketeer and not have to worry about anything. The cannon cart locks. And you know what, dude? Even though you get the hog rider onto our tower, you think that that's a good trade for you? I would take that trade 10 times out of 10. We are back in business with the French touch, with the spear goblins in the right hand lane. He's like, wait, I don't even want to play this game anymore. Get me out of here. He loses the tower on the left, and the game is completely and utterly over just like that. 12 seconds later. Sir, just let me three crown you. You're not allowed to defend any longer. Come on, bro. A few moments later. So this guy delayed the inevitable forever, and finally we get to fireball him and three crown him. 
I'm just a memeer that wants more crowns for his passerelle, but in reality, probably shouldn't have made this game this long. And that's actually where to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit me up with a fat thumbs up on the video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thanks for watching, thanks for chilling with me, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.